Hey gamers, let's zoom through neutral. Helmet Hermit, 143 can't attack beast, Garbo 1 star. 6 mana 5 for Mothership Rush, Death Rattle summon 2 random mechs that cost 3 or less mech. I think it's alright, 2 star. Uh, it is a re very expensive mech, and I think that's counting against it, but maybe, maybe someone finds something to do with it, but I don't think it's going to be very good. 2 mana 3 2 Naga, Merc, Water, Scribe. Battle Cry, the next spell you play costs one less. I'm going to give this 3 star because the effect persists between turns. So you can play this on 2 and still be able to use the effect. 2 0 2, but Death Rattle, deal 4 damage to the enemy hero, 1 star. Goblin Bomb was not good. Naval Mine is not going to be good. 5 mana, 4, 3, battle cry, draw 3 murlocs, murloc, 5 stars. This enables all murloc decks. If you run murlocs, you run this deck. It is a huge reload. 3 mana, 3, 4, puffer, fist. After your hero attacks, deal 1 damage to all enemies. It is a pirate. I don't think pirates want to run this. I'm going to say this is 1 star. 2 mana, 2, 2, spell damage plus 1, naga. I think this is 1 star as well. Why would you want 2 mana spell damage plus 1? 3 mana, 3, 2, battle cry and death rattle, summon a 1 1 piranha swarmer. It's an elemental. Only shaman is going to want this, and so I'm going to say it's 4 star because shaman is going to like it. <laughs> it's very good for swarmy shaman. 3 mana, 2, 4, if you control a mech, summon 2 more mechs. They're 2 ones. Not very good, only mech mage will want this. Maybe if another deck goes wide mechs, paladin mech does not want this because it wants tall mechs with a little bit of wideness. So this is going to be a 1 star. 2 mana 1 3 mech, after you summon a mech, gain plus 1 plus 1. I'm going to say this is 3 star. It is pretty strong, but it starts off pretty weak. And because Paladin will kind of like it and Mech will kind of like it, this will be slotted in if they need a Mech to run. 4 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Selfish, Shellfish. Death Rattle draw. Opponent draws two cards. It's a beast. It sucks. Only Hunter will want to run this. Maybe. Because they're, um... Their 5 mana, 4-4 four, four can pull this out. That's the only reason you'll want to do that. Otherwise, this is complete doo-doo. 1.1 stars. 1 mana, 1-1 one, one Divine Shield. Battle Cry, give a random mech in your hand. Plus 1, plus 1. This is insane. Paladin will love this. I'm surprised this is not a class card. I'm going to give this 5 stars. It is good in every mech deck. 3 mana, 1-5. Taunt to Death Rattle, draw a card. Naga, this is kind of garbage. Why would you even run this? Two stars just because it is a taunt. Three mana, two one, rush battle cry, summon a copy of this. It is a murloc. This is insane in warlock. This is going to be insane in any other murloc deck, which is there not, not a lot of. But this is run in warlock. This is a four star card. M warlock will love it. One mana, one three, after you cast a spell, gain one attack until your next turn. Naga, this is one star. This is just a worse, uh, one mana, one, two, spell burst, gain two attack. It's so much worse than that. It's much worse than mana worm. Doo doo. Six mana, three, seven, taunt, battle cry, swap the cost of a random spell in each player's hand. Naga. It's disruptive, but you have to run only expensive spells, meaning you're running, you can't run this in rogue. <laughs> This is not runnable in Rogue, and I think Rogue would be the only one that would want Disruption, because it's kind of a meme to have Rogue Disruption. So, 2 star, it might see very, very fringe play. 5 mana, 5, 6, Taunt. Shuffles a 5 mana, 5, 6, Taunt, Divine Shield, Lifesteal to the bottom of your deck. I think only Warrior, or um, any deck that wants to have a very big deck, because you shuffle a card into your deck, meaning you fatigue way later. So maybe Warrior will run this, because it gives you healing. Healing in Warrior is kind of cool, but otherwise this is doo-doo. I'll give it a very unlikely 3-star, because I think some decks will run it. 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, 
a friendly mech gets rush wind fury divine shield uh, you summon a copy or choose a friendly mech summon a copy of it with rush wind fury and divine shield the original does not get that still really good paladin is going to love this because they're going to make very big mechs and this is going to make a copy of that big mech four star it's probably only run in paladin but still very good in paladin Three mana, two four. Battle cry. Silence all other minions. It's a beast. Uh, it's a very good battle cry, but it's going to silence all your buffed minions, meaning it's not actually as insane as you think it is. I'll still give it three stars though, because like this is Kane. <laughs> this is better Kane. Uh, four mana, five four. Add a one one Naga Ling to your hand. Discover a spell that costs three or less to teach it. That's actually insane value. If the Nagaling is 1 mana, like, 4 mana 5 4, play a 3 cost spell for 1 mana? That's really good. So I want to give this 4 stars. This is the best Naga. Like, this is a really good Naga that can be run in a lot of different decks, I think. I think. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, I don't care if I'm wrong. 20 mana. 8-8 eight, eight, costs 1 less for each mana you spent on spells this game. It's a Naga. I mean, I want, I'm going to give it 4 stars. I'm, I can't think of a specific deck, but I'm sure this is really strong. Because it's really easy to spend mana on spells. So, it's going to be insane, probably. It's probably going to be good. Warlock will probably run it, honestly. 5 mana, 6-4. Dormant for a turn. Rush, immune while attacking. It's a pirate. You play it on 5, play Smite on 6. OP. <laughs> um, I'll give it three stars. It's only good because of Mr. Smite. Uh, three mana, two, four, slime scale diver, dormant for a turn, rush poisonous, it's a murloc. Doo doo, two, one star. Like, do you really want a delayed poison like that? Not really. Uh, Pelican, one, four, one, dormant for a turn, rush. This is actually better than the other. I'm going to give it three stars. I think it is runnable in some fringe control decks just because it's one mana deal four five mana five five if you've cast three spells while holding it get one of these relics relics are pretty good i'm gonna give this card four. St i'm gonna give this card five card spell <laughs> i'm going to give this card five stars because i think it is going to be run in any deck that runs spells seven mana five nine if you've cast three spells while holding it deal three damage to all enemies Three stars, control decks might like it. It's a terrible top deck though, so two and a half stars. Three mana, three, four. If you've cast a spell, draw a Naga. And one star, it's kind of doo doo. You don't want the Naga chain. Four mana, four, four. If you've cast a spell while holding, deal three. This is a three star card. I mean, I, th I could see it run in some control decks because after you just extra burst, extra reach. The decks that don't have reach are going to love this card. 4 mana, 3, 6, dregs, reduce its cast by 1. Terrible, 1 star, too much mana to dregs. 1, 1, 1, rush, piranha, maybe runnable, and shaman, I'm going to give it 3 stars. It's not insane, you don't, you want to generate these, not run these. So actually, 2 star. 2 mana, 2, 3, all, choose a minion, discover a minion of the same type. I'm going to say 5 star. This is insane in Pirate Warrior. Because it makes you another pirate to progress your quest. So this is like two pirates in one. So that's actually really insane. And this also is runnable in Murloc. This is runnable in any tribal deck for sure. One mana, one three. Swap the, your hand with the bottom of your deck. Also five stars. You're going to easily be able to get all those dregs cards. This this is the only card that could make warriors um, from below work. Honestly. That combo... Someone will have to look into that. That might make Warriors from below viable. Five stars. This is really good. Four mana, four, five. Put three Colossal Minions on the bottom of your deck. I think this card is very good as well. Four, four stars. It gives you a lot of value if you're running Dredge. Like, he's going to be good. Especially in control decks. Especially in value decks. This is going to be... Potential in Rogue, Thief Rogue, because you are, like, stealing three Colossals. Blademaster Okani, 
We've already seen him, 4 mana 2 6, secretly counter either the next minion or spell while it's alive. I'm going to give this 4 stars. Uh, from the play I've done, it has stopped questline decks. <laughs> so, big meme, but it's honestly really annoying and it really grinds the opponent. Really causes a lot of friction. 2 2 3, Battle Cry Dregs, it's a pirate. Uh, four stars, just because it's a pirate, and because it's a cheap dredge. So if you really, 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 really need dredges, you run the trawler. He is just nice to fit in. Um, hopefully I didn't mess up too many of these. <laughs> I I just, this is a lot of cards. <laughs> so I say, watch out for Finley, watch out for Deep. Azura is going to be alright. Um, this guy seems pretty good. The legendaries are solid for this set. All the legendaries are very good. Um, Hermit's gonna suck unless Priest is somehow good with silence. And that concludes the reviews for uh, this set. I'm going to enjoy the set. A lot of the cards seem very fun. And I am very excited. Uh, hopefully I didn't spew too much BS reading these neutrals. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna have a lot of fun opening packs i'm gonna have fun building decks it's gonna be a very fun set i feel like pirate pirate warriors gonna be gross watch out for pirate warrior watch out for all watch out for finley he has the coolest diamond art too he's spinning he's spinning guys that's insane uh thank you for watching very much i do appreciate it uh look forward to the decks i'm gonna be building peace out <laughs>